Hello and welcome back to the Spider's Web. And in this video, as you can see, we are doing the uh, Hellhounds from Mythic Battles Pantheon. We are starting painting. These are going to be very, very simple to do. There's not going to be much at all we really need to do with them. And it won't take long. So we're going to do them all. Um, and the way we're doing this is very, very easy. We're just going to wash them. <laughs> for the most part, yeah, that's all we're going to do. We're just going to wash them. Um, so I'm looking for the particular wash I want, which we don't seem to have much of. Have we got another tub of it? I wonder, I hope. Yes, we have. The one we're using is Drakenhof Nightshade. There we go. And we're just going to give it an all over wash with this. Um, nothing fancy. We'll wash it, we'll allow it to dry, and then we'll come back and touch up on the details that we need to, really, more than anything else. And it's not going to be a heavy wash either, it's just going to be a light wash. We're just going to add a little bit of tint to the colour. So, let's get on with it then, shall we? So we just get this on our brush and paint it on. As you can see, there are details that we need to do here as well. Um, it's uh, like little bandages and things around the legs. Uh, teeth, all the metal areas for the collar and chain. Um, so it's not just a case of getting it all done and then it's finished. Um, as I said, we will have to come back and touch up on the um, what you may call it uh, on the details so you might actually highlight a little bit as well I don't know yet so it depends on how I feel um, I don't think it will need much though we can actually put a heavier wash um, on its belly on the bellies rather um, on the underside where there's going to be a lot of shadow. We can always add more of the wash to the undersides. Um, we aren't going to be doing um, a great deal of detail on these because sometimes less is more. I've said this when I was doing the Conan minis um, and I just washed a few of those and yeah sometimes less is more. Um, this will give all the detail it will bring out all the detail it will bring out the um, the high and the low points in the mon mini and uh, you know said model then we'll change it to mini um, so we'll get everything we really need just from this wash on the body okay so we're just going to do this on all of these minis They've all been primed with um, the usual primer that I use, which is uh, from Halfords, and it's just a grey acrylic crap, uh, grey acrylic curve primer. Nothing special. It does the job. Um, so I've, I've talked about these before. Um, it does what I need it to do, so that's all. I'm bothered about. I was recommended this by somebody from the Games Club. I can't think who now. But it works. I'm happy with it. So that's all that matters. Some people might disagree with me, but I'm painting them. I'm painting the minis. And I'll do them whichever way I want to. Hee hee hee. Um I'm going to try my best on these to do as good a job as I can because they re just realise the camera is off slightly. Let's just angle it a little. That's better. Uh, there we are. There's two done. So as I said, we'll have to do these <coughs> and then come back later and wait for them to dry. <coughs> we uh, obviously can't paint the details while the wash is drying because it's not going to look right. 
and as you can see I'm not being fussy where the paint, where the uh, wash is going to go I'm just lathering it on um, when we come back I'm not going to be going through all the same thing over and over again I'm just doing this as like just so I can chat while I'm uh, painting um, I am thinking of starting a new um, new series where I just have a chat and paint at the same time um, and have the camera set up slightly differently it's for when I'm doing like things like troops and things like this where it's, you don't really need to see all the detail that I'm doing um, it'll just be a wide shot of well it'll just be a head and shoulder shot of me like this uh, from that camera and then we'll have another one just showing all the things on the um, on the table I've got in front of me um, rather than just pointing to these specific minis as I'm painting them um, just to see how it goes I may not run it very often but if I'm doing things like this um, where it's just the same mini over and over again I'll probably just do one show you how it's done and then just do videos like that um, as I paint the others um, just so we can chat and uh, what you call it just chat while, I'm, while we're painting you can just have this on in the background while you're doing your own paintings that kind of thing um, they're not going to be like tutorials or demonstrations I don't like the word tutorials for these I like demonstration I'm telling you how I'm doing mine um, I don't really want you to I don't really expect you to copy exactly what I do but if you do that's fine but you know, as I always say it's much better to work out your own um, colour scheme if it's on something that isn't tied to one particular colour scheme, colour scheme like a uniform. I'd sooner you work, you know, I'd sooner you take the ideas from me and run with them rather than actually follow on everything I do. But I know if you're learning how to paint and you're just starting off, I know it's much easier just trying to copy somebody else exactly, um, and it gives you the confidence as well. So I'm not really bothered if you choose to copy um, but if you're going to copy just do it um, until you get the confidence and then just go with it that's part of the fun of this hobby is just going along and doing what you need to do anyway this is the last of the um, hellhounds um, It's not going to be too long now before I have to stop because as I said this is the last one and I've got to let these dry absolutely before I start painting anything else. So um, there's going to be a slight, uh, what do you call it, one of those little wipey things. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, oh heck, your brain's gone again. Um, transition, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, there is going to be a transition. <clears throat> and then when we come back we'll carry on to the final touches of this where we'll be painting the um, all the detailed areas and finishing off the mini okay so that's it for these um, I'm going to have to put that there because I just realised I've not got any water out so oops I'll bring in the mini so you can see what I've done without getting, uh, trying not to get um, the wash on with my fingers, okay already, like I have, but I oh, wonder mind, I can always touch up later. <laughs> so that's it for this part of the video, join me uh, in a few moments and we'll carry on, okay? Right, we're back and these have dried quite nicely. If we look at them, you'll see all the shadow details in there now. And uh, all we have to do, really, is just give a little bit of highlighting. And 
um, just finish off all the extra bits and pieces. So let's start off with the highlighting first shall we? Um, and what can we use for that I wonder? Hmm. I know we could use a little bit of pallid witch flesh. And we'll mix that in a little on a little top. No? If we can see it. We'll mix that with some Dawnstone. <coughs> we don't want it in fact. Why don't we just use Administratum Grey instead? Save all the mess in the box. I didn't think I had enough of that left. But I've just noticed it. So we must have. <laughs> so. We won't open this. I'm going straight from the pot with this because it's going to be a dry brush. We're not looking for a big amount of coverage. We're just picking out highlights. So... You can do that just by looking down with a very small amount of paint on the brush. There we are. That's all we need today. So we'll do that on each of the minis. And when we've done that, we can get on to the next part, which is the um oh what you call it oh, the chain the collar and there's also the um what do we call it as well the bandages around the legs but I'll fast forward on this so you can see it see me do it all but rather than sit through me bubbling on. There we are. Now that's all of the minis dry brushed. Next step will be to, as I say, base coat the, um, well, I'm saying base coat, we could actually class the wash as being the base coat on this, I suppose, but we're not going to. 
let's just clean the brush out and um, <coughs> I'm going to give the base coats for the chains and the, um, the bandages so we'll start off first of all with the bandages and we're going to paint those with a little bit of Screaming Skull okay so that's going to go around on the legs on the bandages around the legs of these hound thingies so we'll get let's get some on the on the pallets and now we can just go along and paint over all, all the I'm saying bandages for want of a better word I'm assuming they are bandages but there we are and we'll just go along on each one of these and again I'm going to do um, one like this and then I'll do the rest um, in high speed because once you've seen me do one and talk about what I'm doing then there's not much point in going over the same thing it's like you're probably a dead horse really isn't it so we, um, we just paint over all of these areas and it's just the areas with the bandages that's all we're looking at at the moment make sure all those areas are covered and mm. itchy nose I always get it when I start concentrating on something I don't know why it just happens oh dear So now what I'll do is I'll do these in fast forward so you can see everything I'm doing. Okay, I will be, uh, I'll continue on with the narration when this is uh, finished. down to our final one um, so we'll just wait for this uh, paint to dry oops just wait for this paint to dry and then we'll give it a wash um, I'm not quite decided which wash I'm going to give these um, I'm thinking of one of two washes um, Agrax Earth Shade or Reichlin Flush Shade. Um, cause I'll make my mind up um, when you actually come down to doing the wash, I suppose. But there we are. That is the um, whatchamacallit. Um, oh dear lord. That's the bandages done. <laughs> I know I've not done either. I've not put my little light on so I can see better I've got three lights here one for the um, I've got one for the palette I've got two here but I always like this one because it focuses on it a little better okay so that is the bandages done next what I want to do 
is the chains and for the chains I want quite a dark um, metallic colour I think I found it, yes I have and that colour will be Warplot Bronze I've used this quite frequently you know the colour by now I used to like tin bits and this I think is a good replacement so we'll get some of that on the palette it does look black on the camera but it is quite a dark brownish colour okay so let's do this and we're doing all of the metallic areas which is just the collar and the chain making sure that we don't miss anywhere and want this going over and going all over the collar and the chain what's a really good coverage with this because this is the base coat and the what goes on after this um, will give it the will make it pop. Well, as I make sure you get everywhere in it with this. Obviously, not on the dog itself, just on the collar and the uh, chain. So once again we're going to high speed mode while we do this and then when we come back I'll show you what else we're doing. down to the last one and um, almost finished the paint's going on quite well as you can see so we're covering it covered all the areas of the collar and the chain um, the watch McCormick is now dry the bandages that we painted but before we go into that, um, I'm going to do one more thing, which is the teeth of the beasties. And for that, um, what colour was that there? No, I can't use that. I'm going to use that one, I think. Yes. Who shop to bow? Don't want it pure white. And we also don't want a great deal of it, so I'm going to get a very fine brush. And Just a case of just dab 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 in the mouth area. Um, there's no oh hang on a minute. I've just noticed that there is um a bandage around its head. Is it, is it a bandage or is it no I don't think it is, I think it's um what you call it? I think it's tissue and sinew, muscle, that kind of thing. So, just going to just touch in and around the mouth area just to break up that colour. Oh, 
make it look as though there's teeth there. All right, that will do. That's all we need for that. And now we can do the wash for the bandages. Um, or should we do that? Or should we do the? No, let's do the metal bits first. E. And for that, we're going to use if, and I mean if it will work, play nice. We're going to use this one, iron breaker. So we want um, we'll to use this flat brush. Our dry brush. And we're just going to go over the high points of the, the chain and the collar. So being careful where we put it, we don't want it too much on it. But we don't want it just being that dull brown colour. Oh yeah. There's one done. Get some more on the brush. And yeah, it doesn't take long to do this. And you don't have to cover every little piece of the chain. As long as there's some of this silver colour showing, it will do the job. There we are. It's not supposed to be brand new chain, it's supposed to be a chain that has been stood for a while. I may even put some rust effects on this yet. Not decided. I don't think I will because it's quite near to the actual body of the um whatchamacallit? The body of the hound. It's the infernal hound, not hell hound. If I remember rightly. Because hell wasn't a Greek concept, so it wouldn't be called Hellhound, would it? Right. And then the last step on painting the mini itself is the um, there's the wash on the bandages. Um, I haven't yet decided what I'm going to be doing with the um, base. So I'm not concentrating on the base in these minis at the moment. Um, Once I figure it out, I'll, let you, I'll show you what I'm doing. Um, there we are. Now I have noticed that we have some metallic, metallic colour on the cheek of that um, last dog I did. So let's just get a little bit of the administratum grey once again on the brush and just Lightly. Go over it. All right. That's the thing. If you see where you've gone on something that you shouldn't have gone on, 
you can always go over it again because these are acrylics and will easily cover up okay so that is for the middle most part the mini done um so what am i going to do for the um bandages for the wash um i think just to add a touch of warmth to it rather than just brown let's go with Reikland flesh shade for no other reason than just to as i say add a little warmth to it because it's like a reddish brown color so i'll just paint on and we'll cover all the bandage areas that we painted earlier and don't go too heavy with it because you're not trying to cover up anything other than this brown area okay now just pull on and get everything covered where it needs to be I've noticed some of these areas don't have much detail in them where they showed them where they showed them they've got loads <laughs> oh well never mind I'm assuming that, that thing there is a rock or some description so I can always if you wanted to at this stage paint it um, depending on how you want to paint it you can do it in different colors of grey, browns, whatever um, but as I say at the moment I don't really want to go any further in this until the wash has dried because um, I've not decided exactly what I'm doing with the um, the bases yet um, so until I've decided that I don't really want to touch the bases at all um, I just want to make sure that these are painted I think what I may do is what I usually do with the bases which is just sand them and um, do them in the brown colours, a little bit of tufts of grass. It's a simple technique, I know it's not very adventurous but I don't want to distract away from the uh, main mini. It's a case of um, the basing finishes the mini off, but I don't want it distracting, so I'm not sure yet what to do. But there we are. That's all you can do for these. Um, that's so. That's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and these may have gone up, depending on how long the video actually was. These may have been split. I don't know yet. <laughs> but. Let's just have a quick look at one of these now it's done. There we are. I suppose what we could do as well, before we can before we go any further, we can wet our brush and get um where are you? Where are you, where are you, where are you? There we go. Troll Slayer Orange. Okay, now normally I don't do eyes. I 
don't want to seem as though I'm making a road for my own back by doing this, but. I'm thinking. I missed the idea altogether, I think. Oh well. Not to worry. Just a splot of orange in the eye. which might it once again break out not break out break up all the greys and the dark colours do we have in the miniature of colour may just bring it out and bring the mini to life. I'm going to try and do eyes on these ones I think. So there we are. That's what we've done. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now.